Are you eating the hot sauce? You know, I gotta it's tell really you hot. I gotta tell you something about this. This is probably the best restaurant salsa I've ever had in my life. And no lie, I'm not joking. Because it's got like this smoky flavor here. I want you to try it. Oh boy. It's okay. Do you want to borrow a dollar for mommy? Hmm? You want to borrow a dollar for mommy and give it back to me? Say no, ma'am, because that means I'm borrowing a dollar from daddy. <laughs> we have to tell you guys a story. Elias, yesterday, it was such a nice day, and he, um, he went outside, and the back door was open, and I kept thinking, where is Elias? And I came out into the living room and the back door screen was open and I thought oh no Elias got outside and it scared me to death and he was outside peeing on the grass <laughs> he is such a boy which is daddy taught him to do okay so daddy we locked our keys out of our house um, about a month ago so and Elias had to use the restroom really bad so it was the first time that daddy asked him to go pee in the grass so that's how he learned how to do it. So apparently, he liked it because he went outside and peed on the grass yesterday. I guess he thought, well, it's a beautiful day. I'm going to go outside and pee on the grass. So he was out there with his pants down peeing on the grass. And I was like, oh, geez. Some of you parents may be horrified by the fact that I taught my son to go pee in public. But the reality is, is there's something inside of the DNA of a boy that is okay with peeing in the grass. And sometimes, <laughs> if you got to go, you got to go. Elias, <laughs> who's that behind us? What are you doing out there? <laughs> He's thinking, gosh, I can't wait for the Ubermans to get on that boat. What am I going to do until then? <laughs> hmm. What are you buying? Are you going to go snorkeling? Yeah. We're going to go buy some underwater gear for Elias. We're going to explore the kingdom of the fishies. Yeah. Do you want to go see some fish? Look! Oh, goodness. This is Elias' favorite uh, section of Target. The end cap with the toys. So, all right, we're gonna go see if we can find that little dude a snorkeling gear for him. All right, we are in the uh, superhero section, so I've got to give Elias the test to see if his upbringing is starting to stick. Elias, come come quick here. I need to teach you some things about these guys. Among all of these people here, who's your favorite Batman. superhero? So we've got Aquaman, we've got Batman, we've got Wonder Woman, we have Superman. And then we have Batman in some really cool armor. And then that's Lex Luthor. He's not even a superhero. Okay, so who's your favorite superhero in there? Um, Dad. Which one? Um, Superman. Superman? Yeah. Boy, I gotta raise you better. No, this is our favorite. Batman. Okay, we found the stuff. We are here around all of the aquatic stuff.
heading to a taqueria and getting some tacos. Elias, do you want some tacos? What my wife said is that, let me translate for you, that we are going to go get delicious tacos. <laughs> you want a taco, Elias? Family fun taco night. Look at she's making tortillas. Can you see her? Elias, can you see what she's making? Look, she's making tortillas. Do you see that? Oh my gosh, this place looks so amazing. What are you gonna get? I think I'm gonna get the uh, shredded pork tacos or blue corn, blue corn quesadilla. Oh, it looks so good. Have some. What is it, Daddy? One of the best things on the planet, guacamole. Mmm. Best of chips. Alright, so we found this really super cool restaurant online. Erica was just looking for different places, taquerias and that kind of thing. Um, and what's this place called? Mazunte. Mazunte. Taqueria. Uh, so it was kind of far away, but we decided to take a chance on it. And um, the place looks even better than what it said online. The place is packed. We had to stand for a while to finally get in. But um, excited to get our food. Can't wait to see it. Elias is chowing down on some chips and guacamole. The guacamole is absolutely delicious. So... Uh, we'll let you guys uh, see the food when it comes out. Can't wait. Jude's eating some authentic, straight from Mexico chicken and rice. Mmm, is that good, buddy? It's got some salsa in it, some habanero peppers. Ay, ay, ay. One of the coolest things about this place, I don't know if you can see in the corner, but it has a salsa bar that I just bur got third degree burns in my mouth from. But it's, she's hand making burritos. Sorry, hand making uh, tortillas. tortillas back there. And empanadas too. And empanadas, it's awesome. She's got a big thing of masa. <clears throat> Woo! I just burned my mouth. It was so hot. So they give us these uh, big tostada chips. You can actually put, usually they put like chicken and shredded lettuce and all sorts of stuff on these things, but you break them up and turn them into chips, baby. You've never had this before? Yes. Elias, are you eating the hot sauce? You know, I gotta it's tell really you hot. I gotta tell you something about this. This is probably the best restaurant salsa I've ever had in my life. No lie, I'm not joking. But it's got like this smoky flavor here. I want you to try it. Oh boy. What do you say except there is a God when you see this kind of stuff? So delicious. Are you ready to eat, pal? It's gonna be good. You ready, baby? Uh huh. How'd you like the salsa? Like, oh, yeah. oh, it's good. I have these handmade tortillas with the steak oh, and lime. What are you eating, Elias? Rice and carne asada. That looks amazing. So, every father needs to teach his half Mexican son how to put lime on his tacos, but also, at an early age, I taught Elias how to eat lime, so we'll see if Jude wants to like this lime. <laughs> I don't know, he's got a distressed look on his face. I'm not sure about this. He actually like likes it. Oh my goodness. Those good tacos, Elias? Were, were those good tacos? Yeah. Were they good? Is I you... drink water. <laughs> yeah, he did. did you like their tacos? Oh boy, that was a phenomenal place. That was a good, you know, sometimes you take a chance on something and it doesn't pay off and then sometimes you take a chance but it blows your mind. Yeah. So that was a blow your mind experience. It was better than what it looked like uh, online, so that was rare. Okay, so we are home. We are. We had a nice little evening out. We've been shopping for our cruise all day. And now little dude and daddy are playing. <laughs> Elias is eating yogurt. We just got through eating dinner and he's eating yogurt. Apparently that's his dessert for tonight. Right, Elias? Is that yeah. your dessert? Show me what kind of yogurt you're eating. Um, um, flower one. What? A flower one. A flower one? Yeah. Oh, cool. Like vanilla? Yeah. Oh, is it good? Yeah. Yummy. That sounds really good. Ow, ow, the boys ow, got new glasses today for their cruise. Jude, 
Put your glasses on, dude. Oh, baby <laughs> June, my baby June. <laughs> Whoa, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Did Daddy look weird colors? And Elias is over there jumping on the couch. You're not supposed to be jumping on the couch. Then take my shoes off. Yes, you're supposed to take your shoes off. Dude. Baby Jude. Baby Jude. Look at mommy. Look at you, hot stuff. Yeah, bro. Look at you. you ready for the chick? Well, we're going to close out for the night. I just wanted to say this. Driving through Cincinnati after coming back from that restaurant tonight, um, I was thinking to myself, Eric and I took a chance uh, not too, too long ago, only about five months ago, going to a place we had never been to before in our life. And um, I can only say that we didn't know what we were getting into when we did so. Maybe even slightly what you may consider a risk, but... Um, in the long run, everything has turned out to be amazing. And um, I can just say that when you feel not only that it's the right thing to do and you feel like it's a good move for your family, but you also have spiritual guidance from the Lord uh, guiding you that things just end up turning out just, just well in the end. So uh, we've been truly blessed uh, in our new surroundings, not only with a great church, new great church family, but also with a lot of the sights and sounds that have accompanied kind of coming closer to Cincinnati and stuff. So tonight that was totally exemplified in the restaurant that we went to for the first time. So we've definitely experienced some great food since we've been here in Cincinnati. So family, you guys want to say anything before we say goodnight to everybody? Say goodnight. What's up, dude? He's got the back of his head. Hey. Calm down, bro. We didn't see fish. Elias yeah. kept on saying he wants to see fish. I can only assume because we were close to the aquarium, maybe. Mm -hmm. And a lot. And Jude kept on saying he wants to chew my fingers. So. And slobber everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> we hope you liked today's vlog, and we will see you tomorrow. Yep, Bye. absolutely. Bye, Bye, guys. Don't Bye. forget to like and don't forget to subscribe. We're close to 100. We need your help. We need your help. Bye.